In this session, we're going to look at how we can use Access to sort the records into ascending or descending order. And we'll be doing this through the SQL side of Access. So at the moment, using our previous query, example one, you notice that the items have um, travel bag, um, waste pack, and you notice at the moment that they're not in alphabetical order. And if we want this to be in alphabetical order, we can actually program this by using an order by. To do this, head into SQL, and you notice that we've already got the previous contents of the SQL. Remove the semicolon at the end, that's like an end of statement marker, and if that's there, you'll probably get an error. And we want to put in the next line, ordered. And we want to order by, and then we can state what the field is. So in this case here, we're looking at item. And place a semicolon at the end to end the SQL statement. So when we click on run, you can actually see now we've got B, and then down the bottom C, etc. Now if I was actually taking this query for presentation, and you wanted to prove that it's working, I would actually just copy these records here showing that they're in alphabetical order. And don't select any more than about 10. And then I can actually copy those and paste them into a Word document with the SQL to, to prove that the query actually works. So let's go back to the SQL and have a look if we want to sort them from Z to A in descending order. So let's go back to our SQL. And to sort them in descending order, all we have to do is put DESC for descending. And then when we run the query this time, you notice it starts at W and heads down through the alphabet, etc. And if once again, if I was presenting this, I would probably copy these ones here and paste them into the Word document to prove or in the, the document to prove that the query is working correctly. Now at the moment, we're sorting on item, but we can actually sort on multiple fields. So I could actually sort on surname and then first name. I could sort on um, house and then student name. So there's lots of, you can have multiple sorts in the way of um, ordering them in the way of sending, descending. So to do this, what we can do is go into the SQL view and I can then have um, item, comma, name, and we can have that in the descending order. So let's run this and have a look at what the result is. So at the moment, we've got backpack going B to C, but yet in the um, name field, we've actually got it going from S down to A, so from Z to A. So one's going A to Z, and one's going Z to A. Now the reason for this is the fact that the first field doesn't actually have a descending order, and this, uh, the second field has descending. If I want to sort them both A to Z, A to Z, then I would actually move this and run the query now. So I've got A to Z, and notice it's got B this time, so it's A to Z. If we want the first one in descending order, and the second one in, so descending order Z to A, and the second one in A to Z, then in here we can actually put D, E, S, C, and then we can have name going A to Z. So we've got Z to A here, and A to Z, and, and then A to Z here. So one is in descending order, and one is ascending order. So depending on how many fields you would like to sort on, it depends on the, the first field, second field, third field, etc. So it works in a hierarchical order, and we can actually have some going descending and also some ascending. So that covers all this section on order by and making sure that you can sort a database and the results from the database in an ascending and descending order.